and or Kayla Schulp reporting from the Challenger Center in Alexandria, Virginia. For my first broadcast, I'm going to tell you about an ongoing NASA project that shows that space exploration is closer than you think. You might already know that NASA routinely sends astronauts into outer space to conduct various experiments, but did you know that by teaming up with NOAA, NASA is experimenting in a simulated space environment right here on Earth? This project has been called NEMO, which stands for NASA Extreme Environment Mission Operations. NASA uses an undersea habitat called Aquarius to house the crew members of the NEMO project. Aquarius is located about 9 miles off the coast of Key Largo, Florida, and is about 20 meters below the ocean surface in an area called Conch Reef. Aquarius is also the world's only undersea laboratory. During a typical 10-day mission, NEMO crews take undersea moonwalks and experiment on the similarities between outer space exploration and deep sea exploration. It is beneficial for aquanauts to be able to train in an environment that presents similar trials to those astronauts experience in outer space. For those reasons, Aquarius is also referred to as inner space. Not only does Aquarius help in training, it allows scientists and researchers to learn more about ocean science, coral reef conservation, and underwater technology. Aquarius's life support system allows its aquanauts to live and work in comfort with approximately 400 square feet to house top-of-the-line science equipment, computers, network to shore internet, telephones, radios, video conferencing, and broadcasting equipment. Aquanauts studying in Aquarius have fewer limitations than regular scuba divers. They can avoid decompression sicknesses by returning to Aquarius instead of surfacing, and by using dive tables to guard the time that they spend exploring, they can last about 10 times longer underwater than divers who are forced to return to the surface. At the end of each mission, it's important for aquanauts to undergo about 17 hours of decompression to avoid sicknesses such as the bends. NASA educator Richard Arnold, who flew into space on the shuttle mission STS-119, completed aquanaut training and served as a mission specialist on the NEMO project in August of 2007. During the 10-day mission, the crew of NEMO-13 conducted experiments and operations in a simulated lunar outpost in support of our nation's mission to return to the moon and the future exploration to Mars. This spring, Aquarius will be ready to get back into action after a long, cold winter. In April and May, Aquarius will begin training its staff and setting up its facilities, but as soon as June rolls around, Aquarius will be home to its aquanauts as they complete experiments throughout the course of the summer. This June, Aquarius crews will perform coral restoration and resilience experiments, and in July, crews will start to look into ocean acidification in an attempt to control rising pH levels in and around coral reefs. Well, that's all the time I have now. Until next time, this is Junior Commander Kayla Sharp, signing off.